Hello, I'm Todd Stokes with Baker Tilly. I'm here with John Peterson and Taylor Chess of the Peterson Companies. Thanks for having us. Thinking about the DC metro area, where do you think the best opportunities are for the future? Areas that we see as great opportunities, Loudoun County, Prince William County, these are, these are startup communities, uh, great lots of residential. Um, we've got a number of projects in those that we're building. Uh, there's still great opportunities downtown D.C. and obviously inside the Beltway. Everyone's very focused on the metro, uh, so metro opportunities are, are great. Well, if you, if you really look at the transportation system, and that includes metro, metro bus, um, the metro ridership in the D.C. area is great. But there's a lot of people who are still using their cars, and if you look at all of our projects, it's always been about location, location, location. And I don't think that will ever change. Uh, that will always be the top projects, will always be those that have the lo best location. Now, if you can add the location and you can add a metro, then you're, you've, you've combined the best and you have the best location. So if you look at the sites that are a combination of metro plus good transport, uh, transportation vehicularly, that's, that's, where you get, that's where you get the real winner. And so most of our projects aren't on the metro but they are very well located and we feel confident that um, you, we look at the demographics and the path of growth. If you look historically where we've been, um, we've developed and bought land way in advance of where we foresee the, the development path going. And so in the last uh, 12 months, we've bought um, over 500 acres of land uh, to do some projects throughout the Washington area. John, your father founded this firm 50 years ago. What do you think his legacy is going to be? And what are the biggest lessons that he taught you? Well, if I had to look at Mill's best legacy, I think he'd be most proud of the fact that um, he's built these communities that have lasted um, and that he has been proactive in making Northern Virginia a community where people want to come and live. Uh, if you look at where Northern Virginia was 40 years ago and where it is today, there's a reason why it's as popular as it is. Uh, it's close to the nation's capital, uh, so the growth was there, and he took advantage of that as, a comp as, as an owner uh, until back in the early days. Um, so I think he'd be really proud of the communities that, that he has built. If you look at the list, there's nothing on there that he goes, wow, I'm not proud of that. So, uh, but there's a stamp that we put on our projects um, that is very landscaped oriented and uh, user friendly, and again, back to what Taylor said earlier, was community building. I think uh, from a legacy perspective, again, what John said, building community. I mean, what, what Milt has done, what Milt has created, and, and primarily the majority of his career was Northern Virginia and uh, being instrumental in uh, major road systems, uh, zoning changes, you know, and being on the forefront of new ideas. Well, you know, back to the, what um, we've done, you know, historically, I think, and what Mill be proud of is most people don't realize that we built the first section of the Fairfax County Parkway. And because of our projects, we've probably dedicated almost 10 miles of land for the County Parkway. Uh, so I think if you look back, Milton Till together could say that without our efforts, the Fairfax County Parkway might not be here today. Um, and what would we be without the Fairfax County Parkway in Northern Virginia? So now that the company has gone through 50 years and had a major impact on the area, what do the next 50 years look like? Well, I think the next 50 years is, shouldn't look a whole lot different than the past 50. Uh, the advantage we have is we got a great base to build from going forward. If you look back 50 years ago, it started with Milt building a townhouse in Vienna. Um, we just had, uh, celebrated our 50th year uh, anniversary and that's what he did 50 years ago. As you can see we're a far cry from that. You know, we're financially stable and we've got a great growth path already kind of laid out for us. So the next 50 years, if we continue to be opportunistic in the future like we have in the past, you know, we always say how big of a company do we want to be and it's really hard to answer because it depends on the opportunities that are presented to us as to where our path will go. So it's really hard to predict but if we stay involved in the, in, the, in the different jurisdictions, and that's in Maryland and Virginia, I think the opportunities are always going to be there because we're a private company 
and that gives us an edge in the ability to go out and make quick decisions. Where are we going to be in 50 years or, or what's going to happen in the next 50 years? We're going to be able to really um, play off of, um, take advantage of the reputation because of what Milt and the company have done for the last 50 years. Milt started with nothing and created a, a legacy, created a, a, a position, um, a household name in the DC um, development community. We will be able to use that to continue to do great projects. Um, and as John says, it really will be do the projects you should do, not the projects you can do. So we'll be much more selective in what we do, um, but hopefully we'll be able to take that same level of quality and level of concern for the community and, and expand on that. Well, what's happened in the last several years because of um, the reputation we have, there's a lot of people approaching us um, to do deals with them and be their partners. And so uh, that reputation has allowed us to be exposed to a lot more opportunities than we may have in the past. We're in a great position to, to take advantage of, of what's been done before us.